Okay, this is Richard back at you. We got Dale's 4L60E all tore down and apart. Looks really good. Uh, we're going to get it put back together and get it cleaned up. But let's get over here and get on his 241C transfer case that has the crack in it too. So, see if we got any wear or damage inside. So, let's get this apart. This is one na <coughs> nasty uh, transfer case. And transmission and underneath of the truck is just covered in oil. So Okay. Now we're coming here and we're going to get the speed sensor off first. Nope, wrong one. So much dirt on it's hard to tell. Nope, that's the wrong one. Thought I knocked it off where I could see it. I don't want to break it. Okay, there we go. These are high dollar. You don't want to break one of these little brass things, let me tell you. Then we get our front engagement switch here for the front differential. There. We'll get this off here. Okay, so there's a seal under here when we change this. You want to make sure you change that seal. That'd be the worst thing not to do because then you'd have a leak after you got it in and that seal's really hard to change. Get some of this grease here. these bolts. Now this piece is the piece that is cracked. Uh, it's on the case. Oh, there it is. Actually, it stayed on the case. There you go, Trent. You're right. I'd have never found it. There you go. Now we could probably weld that back, but uh, I went out in the, the trailer and found one uh, that's in uh, really good shape. What I do with that? Oh, it's in the parts washer being cleaned up. So we're gonna be able to save him some money there because I did I did find one on a core. So he'll be happy. Get this speedometer reluctor wheel off here real quick. Now the pin, where the, the dowel pin goes for this case to line up, will always have a washer on the bolt. The other ones will not have a washer. They'll just be a bolt right to case. I think they had room for one more bolt right there. I think they could have put one there. It would have worked. Okay, this is one dirty unit. So let's get this apart. Now you can see this is our pump here that the dry shaft turns. The, the, the fingers lock into the housing right here that keeps it from spinning, you can see here. Now, uh, 
we have some designs out there the fingers actually set in the case and then cut a hole in the case so get that off there you can see our oil pump pickup tube right here get that out of there There's an O-ring right there. You don't want to lose it. But the rebuild kit that we got coming, we'll have all the seals and bearings and stuff like that in it. So, but you can see how that kind of goes. Pull our spring off. We're just going to grab this and pull this out. Now these are what we call shift fork inserts that we talk about always that gets melted out of the transfer case if it's run low on fluid. So if it don't go through, if it doesn't mess the fork up bad, you can always weld the fork up, put new in inserts on it. But sometimes it messes the fork up so bad you can't do it. But then you get this style here where this insert doesn't come out. It's made onto the fork. You physically have to change the fork. So no signs of any uh, oil being run low on oil or anything like that yet, so we're doing good there. Good. Now here's your synchronizer ring right here. This is what keeps the transfer case from grinding when it uh, shifts into gear. Let me kind of set this out here. You can see how it pushes against this gear when I move this collar and stops it from turning. Spins, push it, locks it down. That way it can lock on. Now you're in four wheel drive. Put it here, now you're in two-wheel drive. But that's what keeps it from grinding. If this ring is wore out, then you could get a grind because it's just like a big brake shoe. It stops that from turning. So then we have our magnet here. Looks really good. So this guy must have really serviced his equipment a lot because for this thing to have not a whole lot of wear on it, it looks really, really good. Let me grab my tin. I've got my tools everywhere. And you can look around here, there'll be a spot here to put a screwdriver in so you can pry that off. A little notch right there, and one right here. Now this seal is, is really hard. I can probably break it. Yeah, see here? Oh, it cracked right off. Yep. See how hard that seal is? Look at this. It breaks. But if you come on this side, this seal's soft. Look at that. Wow. Kind of weird. I tell you, the old tranny was running really hot on this side, and that seal to be soft on this side is kind of different. So we definitely got a tranny running hotter than uh, the transfer case, I would think, probably. Of course, there we have our lower planetary assembly say so we'll take this apart look at all the gears stuff like that just to make sure we don't have any issues down in here of course we have these little thrust washers down in there and you have another one some of them have tabs some of them don't just have to verify it when you take it apart the mainly one thing you want to look for on this unit here is uh, where did it go? I lost something. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry, I'm blind. <laughs> but you want to look here for wear on this right here and in here because this is where it locks in four wheel drive. If you get any wear on the ends of this where it tries to ramp it out, that's where you get these things jumping out of gear. Now you can see a hard print on here. You can see that darkness right there, but I don't really see anywhere that it's going to jump out. I have to clean it up a little bit better because, like I said, it's really hard to look at this stuff dirty. We find a lot of stuff after we clean them up, so not too bad. Uh, we can 
get this thing cleaned up with a little case half and some bearings and shift work inserts and stuff like that and get Dale's transfer case back together for him so he can get back to Colorado. If y'all need anything, give us our precision transmissions. Don't forget to subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day. More to come on Tuesday.